Who that is your boy D Pack coming back with another video. So on this episode of Did You See It, we're gonna be talking about the movie Good Boys. Who that is your boy D Pack coming back with another video. And Man, your boy is struggling trying to figure out the name of this channel. Goodness gracious. Let's call it Movie Reels. I think Movie Reels might work. Yeah. I like how that feels. Let's call it Movie Reels. changing the thing changing it up a little bit y'all in 2020 so instead of vlogging so much we're gonna change the game rebrand it and moving forward we're gonna call it movie reels and the reason why we're gonna call it movie reels is because ultimately i'm a movie fanatic i love movies and movies also correlate to real life as well hence the name movie reels so the first movie we're gonna discuss and talk about is a movie that i wasn't even expecting to Watch, didn't even think I was gonna like it, and that's the movie Good Boys. So let's go ahead and roll a quick clip of the movie Good Boys, and we'll be right back. I have no idea. That's a tampon. Go shove it up their buttholes to stop babies from coming out and eat their. Throw a look at them. They're so random. They're my best friends. We do everything together. There's so many girls at the party. Do you know what that means? Drama. No, kissing. You do not want to go to Soren's party not knowing how to kiss. We could spy on my neighbor. She's a total nymphomaniac. She starts fires? No, she's a nymphomaniac. Someone who has sex on land and sea. This is what happens when you don't respect women. I respect women. My mom's my best friend. What about me? That's gonna kill me. Chill. This is how we get the drone back. Picture this. I'm up. You took my bag. Don't get any closer. Oh my god, there's Molly in there. Okay, who's Molly? Because she's not with us. Sweet Jesus. Just give up our Molly. Nobody sleep. Nobody We're not crossing the highway. Are we fifth graders or are we sixth graders? <laughs> Your pants. It's been like this ever since I was a baby. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm guessing you're not the popular kids in school. Hmm? was an interesting movie for me to be honest with you because i didn't think i was gonna like it okay me and my wife said hey let's let's watch a movie uh we had a couple of movies choices so we was like let's watch good boys neither one of us knew what to expect from this movie but to be honest with you it turned out to be a pretty funny movie way more funny than i gave it credit for um some of the scenes in this movie was hilarious i mean can't even lie. It took me back to being 13 years old. And while it was a totally different time, I can only imagine what my son goes through right now being a 13-year-old and, and watching that movie because, man, it was straight crazy. So the movie was produced by Seth Rogen um, and starring three kids. Three kids, both of, all three of them are in middle school. 
and they all just coming of age. The one kid, he's real, real good with his family. He's one of those nice kids, doesn't want to do anything wrong, wants to keep his family happy. One kid is a kid that's kind of going through that that stage of life puberty-wise where he just kind of wants girls, looking at girls, interested in girls. And the other kid, he's just trying to fit in. Uh, music is his thing. He loves music, but because that's not what the cool thing is, he's kind of like, "Hey, let me try to not do this," you know. And that's what that's what thirteen year olds go through. Thirteen year olds, they want to go through. They want to do stuff that they like to do, but at the same time, they want to be cool. I was thirteen. Um, Y'all was thirteen. Uh, shoot me a, a comment down below. Let me know some of the things that you went through at 13 and some of the crazy experiences that you had. And, and tell me what you think. Because, man, I, this movie Good Boys is 100% brought me back. Uh, one of the funniest clips in this movie is a clip that I'm about to roll right here. Where uh, th Just check out the clip. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> be right back after the clip. Peter Pan 69 is going to be here in five minutes to buy the car. Well, let's get ready. I found all of these weapons in the back of my parents' closet. I still don't get why we need weapons. He could be a pedophile. He can't molest all three of us. All he needs is one. And all beads? AKA nunchucks, motherfucker. Ooh. A pedophile? Yes, absolutely. That's not fair. You look more like a pedophile than anyone I've ever seen. Look, I'm not a pedophile. I'm a cool guy. Fine. You can come in, but please take your shoes off. It's so funny. I watched that clip right now and I just died laughing. Because at the end of the day, it's like you know what stuff mean when you hear it and you know what stuff mean when you see it, but you're not quite sure. And in this clip, you know, they trying to figure out, is this dude a pedophile or is he normal? I mean, he looked normal. What does a pedophile look like? I've never seen a pedophile before. And, you know, and it's crazy because they see all these sex weapons that their parents have. And it's the funniest clip ever. I tell y'all what. And it's crazy because I've never experienced that. You know, that's some real freaky stuff. Just that their experience with that, it was so funny. Because you just only imagine what your parents do. You don't know if your kids see it, hear it, or even think about it. Because they ain't going to tell you that. You know what I mean? They ain't going to say, they ain't going to make reference to that kind of stuff, right? So, you know, just being in that part alone was hilarious. Um, another funny clip in this movie was where, um, you know what, let me just roll the clip on this one too, because this part is super funny too. Go ahead and roll that clip, be right back. Just give us the drugs. Fuck, how'd you find us? The phone, they tracked us. We're not giving you these drugs. We're giving them the firefighters. Get help. Go! We're in a car, dipshit, you're not gonna outrun us. Not on my bed, fuck nerds. Where are you going? You can run, but you can't hide. You can run, but you can't hide. 
You're running away from my baby, Sarah, because you're trying to touch your penises. Well, that is not true. Yes, it is. It is. I wasn't. Yeah, you, you were. were. I wasn't. He's in trouble. You deserve punishment. Pull down your shorts. Is that what happens when you get a stepmom? Ew. Ugh. No way that's gonna fit in there. Get out of there, girl. Where does his hand go? Oh my god! Oh, god. Yeah. Oh, what do you even kiss? Yeah, not in their mouths. At least. My parents have a CPR doll. We can go practice kissing on that. Come on. This is a really pretty sheepy art of. I guess I'll go first. Stop! What are you doing? Kissing her? You can't kiss someone without their permission. Remember from assembly? Pretend it's Brixley. Try to be a gentleman. Okay. Brixley, can I kiss you? Why? Man, Why? you see that doll? That's man. Man. It, this, that scene really ain't even got no words. Because at the end of the day, it's a whole doll. It's a whole doll. They trying to make out with a whole doll so they can learn how to kiss. Man. That's amazing. Like, just, just think. Just some of the stuff that our parents be having in our crib, that, that be... That be on some next level freaky type stuff though, for real, for real. You a kid and you don't even be thinking about that though, right? I know, man, I could only imagine. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, parents gotta be great too. And, and But, you know, we just never know what our parents be thinking and what they be saying. So this movie for sure put a whole new perspective on what a 13-year-old sees, hears, and goes through. Because, man, it's difficult. It's difficult. I got a 13-year-old son. He a boy. I'm trying to teach him how to be a man. Um, and, and I tell you what, man. It's important. It's funny. And this movie put all of that into perspective. Okay? So, most definitely check it out. If you have not seen the movie Good Boys, I highly recommend this movie. I'm going to give this movie a look. At the end of the day, this movie had me and my wife dying. For sure. So, Check out the movie Good Boys. It's on DVD. It's on your Amazon. Um, you can probably check it out with your cable provider. Most definitely look forward to it. And man, something like this movie absolutely blew me away. This is your boy D Pat, and I only got one word. Peace.